Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D Artcore tutorial. This way, this time we're gonna, I'm gonna introduce you to a new tool that has been published on GitHub. Now, basically, there is this video who really show you how to work with it. Uh, well, pretty much the basics of it, though. Even though I already tested it for a couple of times, um, I feel very newbie to this, um, you know, tool. But Maybe it will help some of you. So the thing is that this tool is meant for people who want to retopologize their models automatically. So we are not talking about extreme cases where you have triangles, though you can try and really uh, work with it with that tool and really maybe you know retopologize everything uh, from triangles to quads. But I think that it's much more meant for um, scenarios where you have your uh, models with a little bit of triangles and you don't want to do it manually starting to really fixing all the triangles and turn them into quads. So um, first thing we're gonna jump into this page here. This is the GitHub uh, forum where you can find many other application that doesn't really need to be uh, about the same subject uh i mean like the 3d applications or modeling or whatever there are so many other um really tiny applications that can help you and if you're exploring this uh forum you will find probably a lot of things that you uh won't see outside of uh, github so unless you're watching tutorials of other people and you get familiar with it so the thing is that we have this uh, GitHub uh, page of uh, W. Jacob, which I'm not sure uh, what his last name, but let's assume that Jacob is his first name, and he was uh, creating this instant meshes. Uh, he's the owner, probably, and you have a full instruction on how to download this. So I just want to make some points here before you're gonna go and download this. Probably most of you are watching this tutorial are Micros uh, Microsoft Windows users while I'm using Mac OS. Uh, so just be aware uh, that it goes like this. If you are using Microsoft Windows uh, 10 or whatever, you need to make sure you have a 64-bit version of this OS and you wanna make sure that you go and download Visual Studio 2015. You can go and Google it and download it from Microsoft um, you know, websites. Now, Beside that, Mac users uh, need to make sure they installed Xcode. Now, Xcode is the developer tool for, uh, you know, uh, iOS and OS applications, and in general, uh, it's an Apple Mac Hackintosh, oh, Macintosh um, tool. So you need to make sure you download it, and it's really huge file. So just be aware that it's going to take some time for you to download this. And after that, you wanna make sure you download CMake, okay? This is as well only for Mac users. Now, with that downloaded and installed, the next thing you will need to do, and this is goes both for Linux and Mac OS users, you can go and click this, right click, copy that four lines, go on to terminal and pass it to the command line here hit the enter or maybe I think that when you passed it, it will automatically launch this um, commands. So uh, there will be appearing on your screen some sort of a dialog box that uh, letting you know that you are installing this. So you will need to let it uh, run and install whatever it's installing. Whenever, uh, what, what I th do think here is just that, I don't know, it's related to the CMake and uh, also these uh, instant meshes. I'm not really sure how it goes, what, what that particular does, but I know that it's installing something still yet, not sure, in, not sure what exactly it's um, installing. Maybe it's already installing CMake and the, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, for Windows, open the generated file, instant meshes, SLN, after step three, and proceed building as usual from within Visual Studio, okay? So you need to probably launch this, skip after step three, go on and 
continue and work with Visual Studio while this working. So I'm guessing that it's working on top on Visual Studio for Windows users. Now, same time, you want to make sure that when you uh, make, well, it's it goes b uh, both for all the um, operating systems. Wherever you're going to go and click on one of these, it will download the general file, the exact file that is having the instant meshes application in it. You want to make sure you take this and put it on a folder, okay, which pre-made for that purpose. And with that here, you're going to go and download that data sets, okay, and extract them into that pre-made folder. So these are all the samples that you can use that comes with this, um, you know, application. Basically, it's just a demo for you to work with this. Now, it will help you because whatever they showing on that video here, sorry, uh, all the models that they are going to work with here and really show you how to work with it um, will be stored in that folder and you can experiment uh, using them. I was trying to do the same with Maya with l very, um, you know, I didn't really... Uh, understood how this is working out but I guess I just need to have some more time with it but in general I was trying to take a polypipe triangulated export it as obj file and import it into that um, application so here you go you can see that we have this uh, open up you go over open mesh you can choose from the data sets folder whatever uh, shape you like. Uh, it's already telling you the target vertices count for this particular uh, object. So what you can do is you can go and click solve. It will find all sort of uh, paths and show you how it's going to wrap this, um, you know, this topology on top of that. So you need to like go on and click solve and when it shows you that, uh, at least in the video, what they've done, they, I think they took the magnet or this, so edge brush, so you can specific uh, edges here, like this one, just to tell the, um, you know, the application where exactly are the sharp edges that you want to maintain sharp. So according to those marks that you make, this is how the application will project the, well, your segments on top of it. So just be aware that it's mainly on how you utilize this in a way that it really will work with the shape. So everything that you will do here uh, could help by really bringing much better results. Um, we have the magnet here. Singularity Attractor, Move, Create, Cancel Position, I don't know, something about flow, uh, basically, it's mo much more about flows, about, yeah, I said it already, okay, so, when you're done, you can go and click that, I guess, it will give you a preview of how this will look like, and then you can go and click, I don't know, maybe you want pure quad mesh, so, click on that, and ex add some, subdivisions, extract mesh, it will show you how it will look like, though I'm not sure that always it will be the same as you want, but you can go on and try and do that and see what benefit it gives you, so sometimes will really hard cases maybe it will help you to at least get the main, um, you know, shape and from there you will need to go on and uh, fix this manually but at least you will have quads. So just bearing this in mind uh, that this could be very helpful. Again, I'm really advising you to watch this because uh, with what I've seen here, you can do a lot. You can really um, tune this uh, plugin to really work with your shapes uh, and with really, really advanced shape, you see? Like this Buddha here and that little, well, I don't know what it is looks like an old man 
or wizard or whatever. So that's it. I'm going to leave all the links down below the description at the description box and maybe you will find some use for it, guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next tutorial. Bye.